Hey guys! Um, I am here to share a journal that I made for Erica. Uh, <laughs> I had posted a picture of the cover and uh, initially because I was going to use this journal as mine. Um, however, once I started messing with the papers and everything, um, I don't know, like the papers, I don't know. You know like how once you start putting papers together, you're like, oh, I don't know. Like something just didn't feel right for me. And then Erica was like, hey, um, so I want that journal. And I was like, okay, well the papers are already picked out. And uh, I mean, the majority of the papers in here are Maggie Holmes, uh, Heritage, uh, because it was a new paper pad that I had just bought. I had actually just gotten, and uh, I was like, oh, I think it would be perfect for this book. And once I put everything together, got everything right, it feels right now. Uh, but at the time, while I was putting it together for me, um, it just wasn't jiving with me that well. So, here it is. Um, I will say, this book is thick. <laughs> she thick. <laughs> However, um, I put all the ephemera, everything in the book. And I don't necessarily think that you lose anything taking it out of the book to store it at home or in another little bag or something like that. Like I feel like the idea of the book, the soul of the book is still there. So I included it in here just because I don't know. I got carried away and um, I mean she's thick. Um, so this is the spine. I believe it's probably a four inch spine. Uh, I really love these soft uh, spines because they're so meldy and you can move them. And I mean, look at that. Yeah. Um, so I like it also that it can allow you to grow within the book and it won't alligator mouth it'll kind of wrap around the bulk of your journal so that is why I prefer uh, the way I do my soft spines but uh, I mean it's probably all of four inches um, this book is a beast uh, over here is the tassel um, the book is pretty loud so, I just wanted to take it easy on the tassel for once. Um, I don't know if my light's going to allow it, but uh, it's a butterfly cameo and then some sorry silk uh, a bohemian bead that I made and then a couple of other little charms hanging off and it's very Erica. So, and then this is the back. Um, I decided, and I don't usually do this, but however, when I did this time, I actually really like it, is covering the back of the little golden book. Um, I've never done that before. Usually I leave it to where it's the original cover and back, but the colors just were not jiving. So I did make the ultimate decision to cover it. And I am really glad I did. So it's covered with some paper. Um, and then I also attached a little pocket right here that you can slip a little charm. And I need to add something to that. Uh, however, uh, we're doing this. And then of course, my little danglies. You have like a little colored, a uh, little like colored uh, rose button. Uh, 
a couple of butterflies. One is orange, one is green, one is blue, and then a couple of buttons, and then a couple of beads. So there is that. And on this one, I did not add a an attached closure, uh, just because I felt when I was adding it, I felt like it added too much at that moment with the ruffles. So I did leave it closed. You have this little piece of sorry claw that's attached with like a little wooden button. And again, I do not intend for Erica to uh, walk around with all this ephemera in here because it is really bulky. So, um, here's the inside of the book. Um, I covered the inside as well with some fabric, a little pocket. I do have a tag. Oh, we have a pocket right here uh, with some ruffling. And then she wanted some clusters. So I added some clusters and some photos. And a uh, card. So she has this stuff to journal with. And this is the opening page. And the book, the entire book is in here. Uh, it may not be in order, however, it is in here. And Erica did request some fabric, uh, fabric flips. So I put some of those in there. And you will also know, <laughs> notice that uh, it is very kind of fall themed. Not really fall themed, but it is those colors. And I mean, it's those colors are my style, and I cannot get away from it. So, if you don't like the colors I use, I apologize, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, uh another cluster but uh yeah I just can't get away from the uh, color palette that I love so give me all of the mints all of the corals and the mustard yellow and really mustard yellow is everything and right here um there are some printout i used some of J johanna johanna cloth's uh printables i don't know what pack this is from however um i'm sure if you go on her etsy you can find it so um there are a couple of these doilies uh, floating around. And these are some unused vintage uh, birthday cards. Singular. <laughs> one, one birthday card. And then the rest are right here. I need to go back through here again. Uh, I just... You know, I start making these journals and I charge a price and then I'm always afraid that the quality doesn't match the price that I'm, you know, I'm, uh, you know, selling it for. And uh, the next thing you know, you know, I, I don't know. I keep adding and adding, and pretty soon a certain amount journal turns into, like, I don't know, with an extra thing of, like, 25% on top of it. But it is what it is. Uh, it's my thing. So, um, I did make some printables for Erica. 
Uh, some of them, these two right here are stickers. They are labeled on the back. Um, I didn't cut them out because I didn't, the legs would be all flimsy. So I wanted to leave them whole, um, but I just wanted to explain why they weren't cut out in, in a pretty package. So <laughs> that is why. And then, so these ones are stickers, and then these ones are just cardstock. So, uh, yeah. So these are just going to be slid right in there uh, to keep them from getting warped or anything. And then there's a little tag. And then this is my favorite page. This paper right here. And uh, I'll be completely honest, I totally thought about taking it out just so I could save it because it is amazing. And, but I know that Erica will do amazing things with this page. So, but I do love that paper. And then Erica also wanted some stamping. Uh, so I did some stamping. Um, I like that it's kind of smudgy. Um, however, it is a little bothersome. But, uh, you know, I guess it adds to the uniqueness of the journal. So, uh, but there, that is, uh, these are Maggie Holmes stamps and Oh my God, they're so adorable, like little houses. And then we have some little ruffles up here and I've got some charms. And then uh, this is my favorite paper clip that I have ever made. Uh, it's a little dangle and it's got a little dangly flower and a rhinestone over here, Danielle. And look at that bead. Isn't that gorgeous? So, um, again, this is one of those things I made. And I was like, oh, I'm going to keep that for myself because I love it so much. However, I have the supplies to make another one. So, I have it documented on how I made it. So, Erica can have it. Um, and then there's some music paper. Uh, Another little flip through. I thought that one was cute. Uh, another flip through. I believe this is flower sack cloth. So I really like it. It's vintagey feeling. And I really like this book because there are like the autumn tones, but then you have these jeweled colors. So you get like a little bit of everything uh, in this book. So then I included some stickers and then uh, a couple of Tim Holtz die cuts. And then uh, my girlfriend gave me these uh, dream cards. And so I added a couple of those throughout this journal because it adds to the whimsiness of it. So, and then another little flip through, a uh, flip up, and then a couple more uh, die cuts from Tim Holtz. Uh, I did a little bit of stamping here, and I really like this one. I really think I'm gonna continue stamping in my uh, journals because I have the stamps. I just don't break them out all the time. And again here, uh, this is Maggie Holmes also. Um, and I got it a little bit smudgy. I apologize. I'm really gonna work on that. But again, handmade. Uh, and then this little flip up, which I really love this fabric. And of course it's with my favorite paper. So that's nice. Uh, here, uh, a couple of washi stickers and some printables. Um, gosh, I will leave the name of the Etsy shop that had these uh, printables. 
um, down below just so she'll get credit. Uh, but I didn't have a lot of African American or women of color uh, ephemera, you know, and once I started looking, like, the options are dismal out there, and, you know, I don't really want to talk about it, um, I'm not educated enough on it, but, uh, you know, um, yeah, it's like I, I don't notice it because I'm a white girl, <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, journal makers out there, you know, I really think that we need to all be cognizant of that, you know, that not everyone has, not everyone's Caucasian. <laughs> uh, I mean, even up until a few years ago, it was hard to find a tan, uh, planner girl or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so anyway, it was just something that I was really mindful of once uh, I started actually looking at my uh, stock and what I have on hand. And uh, so, you know, it's just something I'm going to be better. I'm going to be better about it. I'm going to be, uh, you know, I'm going to be more inclusive. So, um, speaking of, there is a new planner uh, shop at Michael's, and it's Capital Capital Hill, maybe not Capital something. Ah. Oh. I should have said something. I should have looked before I said it. Uh, however, uh, it's a planner shop and it's a black woman owned business. And, um, you know, she has wonderful stickers. And so I bought some and they're pretty cool. And it has everything. You got white girls, you got brown girls, you got black girls. I mean, you have disabled girls. Uh, it's a very inclusive-minded company. And uh, I think all of us, no matter whether we do planners or if we do journals or either one, I really think it would be nice to support each other because a lot of my planner stuff overflows into my planner stuff so I just think like uh, there's another cluster and then a dream car you know I I just think that there's like a natural flow between uh, planners and journaling um, I think that if you might like one, you may like the other. Um, and maybe not. Maybe it was just, it has been my experience. But, um, you know, I have used a lot of my planner supplies for my journals. So, and there's another one of those, uh, Johanna, Johanna Hoff, uh doilies. And it has some photos and like a couple of journaling cards. And it just tucks away in here. Like I said, uh, not all of this ephemera is meant to be carried around in this book. Uh, obviously, you probably don't need three journaling cards uh, in a book or in a God pocket. <laughs> Uh, these are really cool. This is like a, like what you would put a senior photo in. Um, I found these at Goodwill and I'm being kind of stingy with them because I love them so much. 
Uh, but you just flip them up, and this is just a printable that I just wedged in there. So that can be removed. Uh, we have some ribbon, or it's material, and I ruffled it, and I made a lot of charms in this journal. I bet I probably included probably 25 30 dollars worth of uh, charms just in this journal so but they are one of my more favorite things to uh, make and I really love this page I really love this and then you have the blue and this is like echoed like in the flowers and this over here, even though this isn't a paper pad that's related to anything in here, I love how the colors and the pattern kind of looks like over here. So I'm really happy with the way this page turned out. And this is another Johanna uh, printable. back end and then I put a tag back here also so that my friends is this journal um, I'm going to say this journal right now with everything in it probably weighs all of at least three pounds so Erica I hope you, girl I really hope that you do not try carrying everything that's in here with you. So, <laughs> you have been warned. So, uh, anyway guys, um, it is getting late for me. It is about to my bedtime. And I'm going to go relax and watch some Frasier. So... Um, thank you guys, and I, um, I really hope you like this journal, and, uh, I'll catch you guys later.